Welcome back to another video guys. Today, I need to know what we're gonna do with this Cobra. We finally took delivery of it. I've done a full review on it. Now, what are we gonna do with it? We are here at the Gearbox, and one thing that we do at this house is have projects and modified cars to liking. As you guys know, we have the classic Mustang with the Cowdery Swap ongoing, and Drew actually just put in his K20 swap in his Honda Civic. This was super exciting. I love to see the engine finally inside. He has a lot of things that he needs to do, which we'll go ahead and follow as well, but he thinks he'll get this up and running at the end of the month. But these are the two biggest projects on going now let's go ahead and show the finished projects this is drew's super here pretty much he finished this all up super fast super here with a wrap wheels and all of that make sure to check out his channel if you have not seen the super it is so fun i have made some videos on it check out the channel that we made the collaborations on that he also has his coyote swap mustang which he currently has wrapped i don't want to unwrap his car he has his coyote swap three valve as well as his mclaren currently all wrapped sorry guys i wish i could go ahead and show you guys but if you want to see his builds go ahead and check out that channel and then we also have my other roommate Will Collette, other known as Bilco, and his V6 Pro Charged Mustang. Roush, this thing is so cool with the wrap, with the wheels. He definitely put everything here together for a tastefully put together Mustang here. Not that many people know the power that these V6s can handle, and he pushed out 500 horsepower with a Pro Charger. If you want to check out more V6 content and how to supercharge and how to beat V8s, he has all that in his channel. Let's pop the hood. And as you guys already know, the fully built GT500. This project was probably the biggest project that I've ever done ever since my three valve here. Three valve was just the normal stuff. We supercharged it. We did full bolt on all of the fun stuff. This is when we actually went into the build, completely tore apart the mortar and built it to handle 1500 horsepower, which is not pushing that much, but we definitely accomplished the goals that we did with this project. So that's basically all the projects here in the gearbox. Now that you guys have seen all of the projects here at the house, this is the main event. I I want to make a video and show you guys the content you guys want to see. I have so many ideas that I want to share with you and I want basically the most hype idea and base this Cobra off of. So let's go ahead and dive right into what I think would be cool as well as check out the other ideas that you guys may have. So we have the 427 swap, we have the 427 Super Snake, we have the Coyote, we have the Godzilla, we have the polished aluminum body. Those are basically all of my ideas that I have here. Those are quite a of ideas and I want to hear your guys' opinion because we could do so much with this car. Let's talk about the most obvious project that we have and that's by putting a 427, which is going to be my overall goal here. This Cobra needs a 427 and currently it has a 351, which surprisingly is a very, very good motor. However, when you see these rolling around especially if it's badged we need to put a 427 now keep in mind this shelby cobra engine bay is so large you could literally put a truck motor in here you could put a coyote motor in here. you could put so many different engines into this engine bay basically this full show is so big and so wide and with that being said there is the coyote swap which i say that very conservatively because my current coyote swap is currently taking quite a while on the classic there is that option and would be pretty cool though however this project is so expensive it's like twenty thousand dollars minimum just to get this coyote i kind of want to do something different again i know a lot of you guys are going to say hey nate go ahead and coyote swap it which i would and i really really want to and i, I could get the job done two coyote swaps i think we could do something a little bit different but nonetheless dude this is going to look so badass if i were to put in the cobra and so there's the 427 swap that we could do there's the coyote swap that we could do there's only one other motor that i personally would put into this car and that is the goliath 7.3 liter motor from ford the new one that just came out let's go ahead and talk about that so when ford first came out with the 7.3 liter i was pretty shocked because they came out with another 7.3 it's supposed to be a truck engine but i have seen some projects where they put it into a mustang or they put it into a cobra i've only seen one cobra and i've only seen one mustang that would be pretty cool a 7.3 liter godzilla cobra imagine that it doesn't pack a punch though they don't have a lot of horsepower I think it's about 400 horsepower it makes a lot of torque because it's a truck engine but putting in the right cams and tuning it you could probably get a hefty amount but imagine a Godzilla 7.3 liter 
Cobra build. That would be definitely worth a watch. We have the 427, we have the Coyote, and we have the Godzilla. Those are the only three motor swaps that I could think in mind that would be great for this car. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Which motor swap do you think would be great on this? I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say LSs or anything like that. We're going to stick away from any outside Ford manufactured motor because I'm not going to go with it unless it's something extravagant or unique. But those are the three motors. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Now you guys have to keep in mind, I'm still working on this and I have been working on it for quite a while, probably a couple more months until this thing is back up and running. So you guys have to keep in mind, we can't go right into a motor swap because I can't have two classics down. My overall goal is to keep this car running until this car can get up. Once when this car gets up, then we go and put this one under the knife. So. I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. Motor swaps are going to take a long time. They're also a lot of money. So I feel like we need to go into stages rather than jumping to the grand finale of a motor swap here. So for the time that we're doing with the classic, let's talk about what we could do with the Cobra for the time being so I could give you guys the content you guys wanna see as well as start modifying this as soon as possible because I know you guys wanna see that. Now this Cobra right here, it has a classic feeling to it. It's It takes ownership of the original Cobra. I want to switch it up a little bit. This looks too old for me. I don't know how it feels like for you guys, but there are different ways you can modify a Cobra, and I want to show you guys the other options that's out there. One of the things that I absolutely love is going to be Carol Shelby's Super Snake. This thing is absolutely absurd, and you are not going to believe it until I show you guys here. So I'll go ahead and show up Mr. Carol Shelby's Super Snake, a beautiful blue Cobra, which looks basically like a normal Cobra except for that hood scoop. One of the things I absolutely want so bad on my car are those fans. The fans in the grill just look so cool. That is like an old school classic retro look. So I definitely want to go grab those fans. If you know where I could get them, I have no idea except for like Facebook forums and stuff like that. But the fans and the scoop is pretty much the telltale sign of a Super Snake Cobra. And uh, he just sold this one, if I'm not mistaken, and Barry Jackson, it sold for $5.5 million, which this thing is absolutely insane. The thing that makes it stand out the most is gonna be what's underneath the hood. So underneath the hood, Carroll Shelby put a 427 powered by two centrifugal superchargers. And another thing that makes this thing so unique and stand out is that Carroll Shelby Super Snake was actually an automatic. So we have a 427 dual supercharged automatic Cobra. That sounds fun. That sounds interesting. I want to do it. So just how we built the Super Snake Shelby 1000 wide body GT500, I believe that we could even build the Super Snake Shelby Cobra. I don't think there's a wide body version to be completely honest. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even know how we would get a wide body on this. Fun fact, my car already technically has a wide body on it, two inches wider because Classic Roadsters is the model that it was built off. And if you look up Classic Roadsters, the body is two inches wider for a fattier, meatier tire in the back and I have the extended door. So that's what makes my model a little bit unique. It technically already has the wide body package on it. Do we replicate Carol Shelby's Super Snake Cobra like we did with the Shelby GT500 wide body? That is gonna be insane. Honestly, it's not gonna be that hard. We do need those fans. We do need a 427. We do need two superchargers, which I don't even know what superchargers to use besides like two pro chargers. And then we would need the automatic transmission. Pretty simple build, pretty insane and crazy build. Too much power in my opinion. We will definitely have to work with traction. However, that build would be pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? That is Carroll Shelby's Super Snake Cobra. So now we have the 427. We have the Super Snake 427, we have the Coyote Swap, we have the Godzilla Swap. Now let's talk about a little bit more of a, an interesting build. Let's go ahead and talk about the polished aluminum version of this Cobra. Let's talk about that. These Cobras are iconic for the polished aluminum bodies. I'm trying to think, how do we get polished aluminum without actually buying it? Is there a wrap? Is there a paint? Is there anything that we can do? to chrome out the Cobra. I hope there is a wrap out there that's possible of doing so, or even a paint that can do that, but a polished aluminum version of 
this Cobra would be so dope. So we have the 427 swap, we have the 427 Super Snake, we have the Coyote, we have the Godzilla, we have the polished aluminum body. Those are basically all of my ideas that I have here. Those are quite a of ideas and i want to hear your guys's opinion because we could do so much with this car so comment down below tell me which one you like the best and tell me your ideas if you do have something that you have not seen just quite yet but now that we have that let's go ahead and talk about the littler things that we could do besides going all out here with either a wrap or a motor swap with that being said i want to introduce you to backdraft which is a company that builds authentic replicas and show you guys what they have as builds and get ideas from them because this car is really easy to mod. There's not much that you can mod, but what you can mod makes a huge difference. So let's look into that. So there's only a couple things that you could modify on these car. Of course, we talked about the paint, we talked about the wrap. I really like the black with white stripes, so I'm not really gonna switch that up unless we go with the aluminum or something more exotic. Besides the actual paint of it, let's talk about the accessories. And basically, when it comes to the front, there's the headlights you could go ahead and swap out, these little markers, and these guys. Nobody really does these markers besides like a tint, but swapping out the headlights as well as these bumper guards is very, very common. Let me show you those variations. So a very common theme on these Cobras is gonna be the halo style headlights. It makes it more modern and makes it more new rather than these, um, I don't even know what these call the halogen lights that look very classic-y. Uh, that's one of the things what, what makes this car old or older. Not a big fan of these, but to swap these out with the halos would be pretty cool. When it comes to these amber side markers, a simple tint should get this done. Doesn't really need much here. As well as, there's two bumper stars that are very, very popular. There's this one, which brings that classic vibe, the classic model of the Cobra. And then there's these hangers, which I call hangers because I don't really know too much about them, but uh, very, very popular. And to be honest, I love the hangers a lot more. It's one bolt that I can see here. It could be more, but uh, basically one bolt to take these bumper guards off and then probably a bolt or two to put the hangers on. Nothing much more than that when it comes to the front. When it comes to the mouth of this, I feel like there's a lot of potential that you could do with the mouth and the grill of the Cobra. One of the things I really want to do is those fans that we saw on the Super Snake. That's the only thing that I think I would be able to do. Just to see those fans, I think will make a humongous difference when it comes to looking the front end version of this Cobra. Now moving on to the side of the car, the only thing that I would change is a more beefier long tube headers. If you guys see here, there's lots of room right here because I have about like two inches of unused exhaust that I could put these. This particular one is actually very puny compared to the authentic real ones. And I really want to fill out this um, exhaust well here with the meteor exhaust. That's one of the things we really desperately need to work on this car. Probably going to be one of the first things that I do because one thing about this car I really don't like is the exhaust tone. So need to fix that. But a beefier exhaust is definitely a must. Now when it comes to the rear, nothing else besides the bumper guards. We switch those over to the hangers. Nothing else needs to be modified, maybe tinting out the taillights. But besides that, those are the small changes that make such a huge difference. Since we're talking about exhaust, let's get a cold start on it. And let me show you exactly what I mean that we need a better exhaust on this thing. Whoever put the exhaust together, probably put together to get the SB100 certified from California. Understandable. But now that we have that certifications, we can do whatever we want. Let's go ahead and fire it up. <laughs> Let's talk about the interior here because there's so much potential with this interior and yes i lost this center because i was doing a pull and it flew off it was just dangling here this thing doesn't even have a horn let's move on for that this interior has so much potential i'm going to show you guys photos right now of what you could do to this and that's the diamond stitching the diamond stitching is probably one of the coolest things that you could do to this interior i don't know how i feel about carbon fiber i kind of do have a connect here with a carbon fiber company that possibly could make me something custom but when it comes to this the only interiors i honestly would go with is going to be the diamond stitched or the carbon fiber what do you think comment down below 
Thank you guys for coming into my mind, my imagination, and exploring the ideas that we could do with this car. This is our car. I didn't buy this for my personal use. I bought it to create content and show you guys the full build process and something unique, something that nobody's ever seen before. That's the overall goal. I'm tired of just doing the same thing over and over. I want to do something that just breaks the internet. So comment down your most wild ideas down below. Let me know and I will keep you guys updated with what we end up doing here very, very shortly. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned. I'm making another video on five reasons why I hate this car as well as five reasons why I love it. I'll see you guys on that next one. Make sure to subscribe and like down below. See you soon.